Hey everyone, how we doing? Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel right here. My name is Ethan Etcher. I'm breaking down some major key <laughs> ways to look at health and fitness right now in 2024. Things are changing. Guys, this is phenomenal. This is so exciting. They're doing more and more research on somatic experiencing, how the emotions are in the body. And so if you're someone that has joint, low back pain, you're definitely going to want to check in on my channel because right now I'm going through a major journey where I'm rehabbing a lot of injuries right now, rehabbing a lot of stuff emotionally. And so right now, this is uh, episode 16. Um, the last one I made was about shoulder pain and overthinking. And I've been showing how music has been helping me in dancing and breath work throughout this process. But also, of course, all of the you know physical therapy exercises that are very useful at the same time. Same time. So today, so today we're gonna look at this and I'm gonna share some of the videos I did from Saturday. Saturday, uh, I did a bunch of pool work, a lot of swimming for my shoulders, getting them where they need to be. And so what I wanna think about when it comes to the swimming pool and what it means to feel really free and liberated in the body so that way you can get through your pain is uh, the pool is phenomenal, all right? So let me just present here really quick. Swimming is a full body exercise. And what I really wanna focus on, especially with that today, is thinking about our groin, repression, and then thinking of burden and overwhelm in the shoulders and how that is all anchored here in the middle by fear in the solar plexus, you know, in this, uh, right in the middle of our body. And so what's great about the pool, what it's great about swimming, is that you are really able to activate this part of your, stomach through your abs when you're swimming that is going to without having gravity on your feet from standing on the water right when you're in the water your spine can extend a little bit more and your breath control is going to be highly correlated to how much your lungs can expand and allow you to have tighter core control better ab strength so your swimming gets you shredded in the abs but also in an emotional level when you really get your breath under control underwater it really helps you conquer a lot of fears mm -hmm. and so um, I've, I've talked about it a little bit on this channel before but especially on my Instagram when I actually started getting into swimming a lot more seriously actually like three years ago or so I, uh, I uh, had a lot of fear because I learned how to just swim like to survive basically but not to thrive you know I didn't learn how to like hit laps and stuff like that over and over again so it, when I was in university uh, two three years ago I started swimming a lot and it was really a game changer. So for me right now, what has been huge is doing some swimming right now in my training to help me work through some stuff emotionally right now. And especially I wanna talk about that repression, that burden and overwhelm and fear, okay? So first, let me start with some of the exercises that I use. So if you are swimming or if you are looking to rehab your low back pain, your shoulder pain, and maybe you do recognize that there are emotions that are connected to this aspect of your experience, then let me give you the, the exercise I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you, um, here's me explaining what I got right here. So I'll just let myself talk on the video. Okay. All right, so for me, the tool has been key for healing my shoulder issues right now. These hand path paddles have been really nice. You just strap them on. And so you're swimming like this, basically. It gives you more power. So if you have weak shoulders, you feel way better. Another thing I've been using is this like really light foam dumbbell. So for my lumbar, my back pain, low back pain, everything with the hip, when I have it here and I squeeze, I can feel my groin way better because my right groin has been weak. Same thing with my ankle. So when I squeeze this here, it feels way better. So when I'm swimming front crawl, I can activate everything. My abs are a lot stronger too. So those are the main things that I'm saying right there. First, here's my, let me turn my little tunes off right here. That's my little tune I've been working on right now, by the way. <laughs> Bottom of the ninth. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for my music. A lot of great things coming. But what I was sharing there is with that squeeze of the dumbbell and the glutes, it really helps with like that repression of anger and how you feel in control with your legs and your lower body, the lower part of your abs while you're swimming so you want to get that control of the foam dumbbell they you know you can use anything really that you can squeeze with your thighs and that's going to make your your center line way straighter when you're swimming as well 
and it's gonna what it's teaching me is that repression that I'm, we're talking about is when you can get a better squeeze down there on your groin you actually are going to finally relax your your gooch a little bit better <laughs> like and a lot of times it, that's our like root chakra right right there between out for men our our junk not our junk our 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 uh the boys basically and our booty hole right so that's where our root chakra is kind of actually connected right through there so when you have a better squeeze on your groin you can actually finally relax that tension that's all in the in the kegel muscles your uh, pelvic floor so relax the pelvic floor for a minute and just focus on the groin then your breath can go deeper so when you're swimming your breath can go deeper and feel a lot safer okay your abs will allow yourself to the abs will get a lot tighter too so because our abs are kind of like this like our abs you know they're you know, the, we have the six pack, but our abs are kind of like a bottle, you know, they can expand and then and the pressure can stay tighter. And so it's like, really, we want to be able to open up our trunk more and then squeeze those abs. And so keep it like expanded, but strong with more pressure. And a lot of people might think, oh, that means I might get a bigger gut or something like that. You kind of do, but when you're swimming, your lats get so big, it doesn't really matter. So your back muscles, you're still keeping a V taper if you're like a guy worrying about, you know, if you're thinking about um, swimming, how it might affect your physique in that way. But it's, it's all important. Okay, so that is a game changer. I've been doing that uh, exercise right there. And then I'll show you with the shoulders, the hand paddles are so nice so we're now when we're thinking about the shoulders and the hand paddles we're thinking about burden and overwhelm lack of joy negative attitude life is a burden so when you give yourself these paddles to swim and strengthen your shoulders in the water let's see i think i'd do it in probably the second video this video right here these you go pretty quick And so, I mean, obviously, if you've never seen me swim before, or like, you don't know how fast I can go or how slow I go. I'm not that fast, but what I, I feel with these paddles is like so much more power. <laughs> and you might be, I feel like actually a little bit slower, but you have so much power in your shoulder and it's like, it allows you to get that rotator cuff action way stronger. Okay, so that's something that's so key about this is the rotator cuff really gets in there. The rotator cuff really gets in there on that, those hand paddles. And so when we're thinking about the burden, the shoulders right here, my cursor, lack of joy, negative attitude, life is a burden. When you have more power, when you're training your shoulders more, I think it's really key for a lot of, you know, people recovering from these issues is to get your shoulders, make them feel strong. You know, when your shoulders feel strong, damn, it just like... You, have, you do have more joy. Your attitude's better and life is less of a burden because then your neck, the stronger your, your shoulders are, your neck can kind of be more flexible and communicate better too. You know, which kind of brings me to uh, thinking about the throat chakra right here. So this is an AI graphic I had generated for me about the throat chakra. Uh, blueberries, berries are actually known for helping out your, the, literally like the, the lubricant of your throat and your mouth you know when you mm, mm, when you're eating berries you're just like oh so in the yogic sciences or whatever they talk about like eating these berries and so i i use that to represent the throat chakra here but when your shoulders feel nice and strong then you can say things that you want to say better and so that's why the music for me is a very big uh aspect in this journey so i think many times the universe i mean think, think what you want say what you want but I think a lot of times these injuries that happen to us, it's kind of like our inner wisdom calling us to do what we truly love, do what truly heals us. You know, music, hip hop, freestyle, man, it's so fun. Like for me, that's part of it. 
but also, you know, do the, you need, you need to work out and do the things that like moving your shoulders and how it actually feels great. Okay. So my questions, uh, what I recommend my words of advice for people watching this video so we can get toward the main point is if you have pool access, go crazy on the pool because your shoulders will get so strong. You're going to, you're going to be able to work through a lot of that burden, overwhelm feel in your shoulders and your neck. And that freedom is going to feel nice. You're going to be able to relax your gooch, your root chakra a lot better. And you're going to learn how to tighten up that solar plexus, that middle spot where a lot of times fear and stuff is. Um, you're going to feel a lot stronger there. You're going to feel more and more empowered. So the pool is a phenomenal example. I mean, if you just think about us, we, we've been told our whole lives that we're going to drown in the water. You are going to drown, Ethan. You're going to drown. You're going to drown. Careful. You're going to drown. You know, and so we create this really deep fear with water and being under, <laughs> you know, and so <laughs> this is why for me, I think that free diving, the apnea is so important, you know, it's, it's huge. And so I'm actually right now, if you're following my channel, remember, stay tuned because as I launched this uh, excellence addiction pyramid from about a year ago, look at almost, almost a year ago, it's because these videos that I'm working on now, it's all coming together. I'm showing you guys my goals here on these excellence addiction videos. We're all about how to uh, set major goals, major challenges, and then go achieve them through a higher purpose. And that's what this year has been about for me. I, I created this seven step pyramid that you guys are gonna like, if you've watched these videos, some of these videos, videos got more views, like, you know, a thousand views, 600. So I'm getting a little more views on some of these. But these were old, right? Because now I've been well, I've been doing the journey that I set out on here. I was teaching you guys something, but I was actually teaching myself. And so this year has been about me really learning how to achieve these goals. My five minute breath hold, 30 meter free dive and my music. Because I could not make any music in this point, at this point in my life. And that was part of these goals, 10 song album and free diving. So that's what's going on right now on this channel. And I highly encourage you to like and subscribe. We got a lot of cool shit coming y'all way. Look at, we're getting more and more subscribers when we can, and things are coming along. These, these videos are going to pop off in due time, um, because right now this is like me just doing a lot of the, doing a lot of the work right now. And we got a lot of great things coming. we got a lot of great things coming our way. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to like, and subscribe and be ready. So I got a lot of great shit to share with you guys, especially with these chakras and the emotions, because that's what a lot of this has come down to me is I didn't realize how important this was. <laughs> there's my uh, I'm a jaguar I'm a monster and uh, this stuff Metatron's cube basically I've been like all of a sudden this year what I thought was gonna be dedicated toward me just practicing music and doing more CrossFit and doing more uh, you know breath work and stuff like that which ha has consisted of that has now led me to these deeper you know rabbit holes of what quantum physics is uh, what the chakras are what breath is what attention is what our energy is so i highly encourage you guys to stay in tune because i'm i'm breaking through some really cool things right now um yeah breath work right now i'm basically working on becoming a full-on breath work coach i have a fitness coaching background but my goal has been to get to do fitness and breath work you know uh cohesively and so we did our first little soul flow event me and my wife and my baby, I did some breath work. She's a singer, and it was all great. Really cool stuff, so stay tuned. Great stuff coming y'all way. And all I got is peace and love to share. And I want to just show you guys what's working for me and what's the best things that I can search. So give me any questions in the comments, please let me know. And stay tuned. Peace, peace.